Alrighty guys, this is a very important video, a very relevant video here. This video will be updating FreePBX 2.9 to the next available uh, version, which is 2.10. A few things you want to have to know in order to make this change, uh, especially if you're using something less than 2.9, is using 2.8 or 2.6. If you're using any of the older versions, you're going to run into a few issues. One mainly issue is the SQL table or the database. So if you're running 2.8 and lower, I will highly recommend you guys to do a new build, entirely new setup, running at least 2.9 or if possible to go ahead and upgrade to the 2.10 or the 2.11. But anybody that's old, uh, older than 2.9, I will recommend you guys doing a fresh install of this module. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so what I did here, I just uh, clicked on the update module just so that I can get the newest updates on it. Uh, what you're going to have to install here is the 2.10 upgrade tool. There's certain things you're going to have to understand of, of when you install this, especially if you are new to uh, FreePBX. You might want to check this out accordingly. Now, you know, for this, you don't have to do anything else but just uh, tap the download and install for the 2.10 upgrade tool first. Uh, you can update the other modules that needing that maybe needing some updates, but for this build, we're just going to be updating two dot two two dot two dot ten. <laughs> and of course, make sure that you know, your PBX can go out on the internet at all times if possible, so we can make this a lot smoother. Go ahead and plot configurations. But they actually made this a lot easier than before. Uh, uh, on an older model, uh, you have to install some of the modules in a certain order. If not, you would have issues. Actually, it tells you here. One, you would not be up. You would be upgraded to version two point ten. Final release. We go ahead and click upgrade now. Of course, be careful uh, if you're upgrading any type of module inside of free PBX, you definitely need to do a backup. Unfortunately, the 2.9 and 2.10 backups are not quite as clean as the older models. After 2.8, they change a lot of things in the back end. So be careful when you update this and be sure to have uh, constant backups of, of your PBX web interface. See, if you look here, it will tell you the specific steps. You have to do this in order. And once you do this in order, you, you have nothing to worry about, actually. But you definitely have to do this in order. Or if not, you're going to have a very hard time doing this over again. I can assure you on that. So go to Module Admin, click on the uh, Updates, and Update the PBX Framework. Okay. So we're going back to Module Admin, and click on, oh, it's already here. That's already in the setup. Okay, nice. They actually made this a lot easier. Oh, did I make a mistake here? Oh, wait, I'm gonna check online. Ah, as you can see, this is uh, the first time going through this recently. It's been a very long time since it's updated. I figured this way you can see some of the mistakes or errors that if you would have done this, it will show exactly like this. So I'm trying to go go at this concept with a clean slate if possible. Mm -hmm. and of course, it might take a little while to actually run through a lot of these, so. Alright guys, this is the part 2 of that other video. The other video was uh, starting the process of downloading and installing the main uh, core of the FreePBX 2.10.
once that was done I refreshed the page and you can see that it's starting to look a little bit differently now from here is a lot easier there's no really order that you could do this in but I prefer starting from the core all the way up uh, to avoid any issues uh, the main thing was to when you did the upgrade tool to make sure you click on the framework at that time to make sure it went through properly after that step there is really no big order to do this in but I just prefer doing this in the core so let's start from the core you can you can download all of these but actually uh, to do, let's do these three separately Oops. That was fast. Core installed successfully. Because we're not quite done yet. We have three more we have to do. As you can see, you already see the 2.11 popped up here. But that would be another video. Main thing is the ARI framework, which I just lost in all of this log here. We've got to find it again. We have to find it. Oh, there we go. There is another one. I missed that one. Oh. <laughs> now for these two, we can probably do those together. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. There we go. You're going to just do those two first. Keep in mind that we did the, just to recap, we did the upgrade tool first and we did the our AI framework for the other module the first time then we came back we did the core now the free PBX core framework now we're doing the the actual framework and the ARI framework you might can't see if it doesn't return but it says already installed but very small here. I'm not. I'm not very. I'm not a big fan of the way the uh, the web interface works on this version. I'll be honest with you. It seems to be very little, a little messy. But that's just my opinion. Okay. So now we've installed the framework for our the new version of Free PBX. Now we will have to continue doing the rest of the steps. The main steps are done. If you notice, the entire firmware is done. Now you will just need to be updating the original modules all the way up so you can actually you can click on the option here to download all I have sorry upgrade all you download all it will download everything that's uh needs to be upgraded or things that are not installed but we want to just upgrade all so it's going to upgrade the modules that was already in place now this might take a little while but we're going to go through the process anyway of course, you have the option to read through these and only upgrade the ones that you want or want or the ones that you do not want. It is solely up to you. Since I already know which monitors that was already updated from the previous version, I can click on Upgrade All and it will do the same thing for me. Yeah, sorry guys, this is very messy here. I really hope they fix this in the next version. If you can't see from my mouse, there is an actual box of the status of the upgrades, but it's blended to the actual back end of the web page. So it's kind of hard to see, but it is definitely there and, and scrollable. And you can actually scroll as far as down far down as much as the actual uh, modules being installed. And I do apologize, guys, if you cannot see this, but I'm actually moving the cursor as much as possible so you guys can see what's actually going on. So there are so many modules, it might take a few more minutes to get all of them.
But what I will do is that I'm going to end this video. There will be a part three specifically for uh, this version. And as soon as I get all of my modules configured and uh, installed, I will be having a, a third video just to tell you guys of the results of what it will look like after everything is set into place. So be sure to stay tuned to the next video. Okay guys, we are in the home stretch of this build of the new version of FreePBX 2.10. If you see on my screen right now, this will be the interface that you'll be looking at after you install your version as well. After installing all the modules, after you click reload, you see here it looks a lot different than the other module. The idea is to clean up some of the organizing Clean, organ, I'm sorry, organize some of the fields so you can see things a little more clearer and it might make a little more sense because you would think about it, the other module it had the tools and menus and they had so many different options on a vertical standpoint so you have to look through all of that and scroll all of this in this way they actually separated it out to more than two different tabs roughly about six tabs and they do a pretty good job organizing where things are at and how it actually interacts with the interface I would definitely encourage you guys to go through this just get familiar with this version here before going to 10 uh, 2.11 uh, because 2.11 from my understanding is very similar but they fix a lot of issues with the web interface as you can see earlier when we updated the version it, the website was not properly set and you can see where some of the words were bleeding together so I think they've noticed a, a lot of that so they updated that along with a few other features inside of FreePBX to work very well with the asterisks behind it so they improve a lot on the manage the, uh, the management of asterisks also organize the files and organize the features so you can understand them better from 2.10 and also 2.11 so I would definitely recommend you guys going through this build here. Everything that you 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 are familiar with the other version is still here. All of the modules are here. They've just been separated and organized a little bit differently. So be sure to take the time out and look through these modules. Check everything. Make sure everything is there. Make sure the trunks are there or in are in place. Uh, make sure the status is there. Just to go through this site and find out. If everything is working just fine and to see if anything new that you might not have noticed in the other version. But I can assure you that most of the modules that were in the 2.9 lore is in this one. Uh, but they added a few more organizational uh, attributes to this version so you can see things a little bit better. So I'm, I'm expecting you guys to find some type of new module that you think that it wasn't there before but it was actually there on the other version. Just in a weird spot where you couldn't find it. So like I said guys this was this video for the 2.10 version. Uh, be sure you like and subscribe all to all of our videos. Uh, I will be doing a 2.11 version very soon but I want you guys to get familiar with this version first and let me know let me know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you think it's better than the other version? Or uh, you have any issues with it? I personally had an issue with the resource. It took a lot of time to pull up each page under this new module here uh, but I, I'm maybe just me but to me it was a huge resource hall uh, but let me know what you guys think about this module and before updating to the 2.11